I think he will go out to scout with the first Corsair in instead of hunting the Overlord. Let's see what he does. I think he is going straight for the base to get that scouting information with the uh, first Corsair. I see the Citadel of Adun. It was kind of hidden behind the Co Korean Air banner, but the Citadel of Adun was up there, so I think we're going to see that Templar Archive soon. Maybe a little bit of Bisu build action. Get some Dark Templar out. Try to cause a little bit of havoc with those. But the Spire and the Hydralist den out. No telling what Colin's going to do. I haven't seen a single Hydralist yet. And the Larvae are kind of saved here. So I think we're going to see some Mutalist pump soon. Might see a Mutalist uh, type of build here if the Scourge don't pop soon enough. I'm not exactly sure. I think Calm is going to go for Mutalist soon enough. He might try to fake um, free out a bit more by getting a couple Scourge out to take out those Corsairs. But I think he is going to switch into Mutas just because they haven't seen anything else out here for him. And he's not going for his fourth base yet, so he's just uh, preparing for uh, any kind of pressure, especially at that brand new base over here. He's getting some nice Sim City up to protect that. Sim City, for you, those of you who don't know or who are unaware of these uh, silly StarCraft jargon I use all the time, Sim City means you're basically blocking in with buildings, surrounding, making it difficult for especially Protoss players to uh, get through uh, your defenses. Because if you have buildings in front of your sunken, it's going to be very difficult to get to that sunken. So that's what it means when everyone on IRC rants about Sim City. And there you have it. I like to throw in little tidbits for the brand new people, as well as the veterans who watch. Um, actually, I don't think I have, have a whole lot of StarCraft veterans watching my channel. Just because I think I'm the Nintendo Wii of commentators. But okay, here come the... Uh, so let's try to break through here. There is only one sunken colony, so Free still trying to put through here. Second sunken not quite up yet. Plenty of Zerglings out to defend this, though, so I don't think Free is going to be forced to fight back. Fall back, I mean. And, yep, running in with some more Zer uh, Zealots, but if he tries to break through this, I think he's going to be completely insane, But because there, the, there are two sunken colonies out now. Continued Corsair production, so it looks like uh, Free is thinking to himself, yeah, I think you're going to go Mutilus. I have... But he's not, because it looks like uh, all these continued Corsairs are not going to help unless there is a drop coming up here soon. There is Overlord Speed out. So let's see if Free can actually get anything done with these Corsairs, since he's pumping so many. It, was, it means he's going to have a much smaller ground army out than normal. But he is throwing down cannons here, playing especially safe. But those can let's see if the cannons can warp in in time for this Hydraless push. Here come the Hydras, going to push the front, there's going to be three cannons there, I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. Taking down the Overlord, so the uh, Dark Templar are going to have a field day here, Dark Templar ripping through everything, and if Calm uh, pushes here, okay, the uh, Corsairs are looking for more Overlord to snipe, there's an Overlord there, oh, Freeze snipes, almost snipes another Overlord, but he's keeping the push away, and that is what's helping him here, it's going to help him uh, get some storm on those High Templar, throw down some more cannons, get prepared for that push, because here comes Calm, he's pushing up now, Corsair is looking around, looking for some Overlords to snipe, while uh, Calm is trying to get this done, he's going to be able to take out those front two buildings, but other than that, I don't think he's going to be able to break through this, oh man, here comes the uh, ze Zealots, Pushing through as well as they can just to buy some time for that storm research to get done. Oh man, the storm is going to be so clutch here if it happens. The, we're going to have a clutch storm. The can is still warping in. The High Templar are not prepared. The High Templar, they got to storm. No one High Templar goes down. There's no storm down here at all. All the uh, probes being forced off the line to fight. But actually, probes are pretty good against Hydralis in this type, type of attack. So I think uh, they're going to be on hold for the meantime. Just and time for that High Templar to get at least one Storm on to protect against this. Here comes some Dark Templar sneaking in now, killing as many drones as possible. I don't see any Overlord in the vicinity. I think all of the Overlords have been sniped, so Free is going to have a field day in here right now with this Dark Templar. There's going to be nowhere to run, nowhere to hide for these uh, drones now. Uh, Calm doing the best he can to block that choke a little bit with his Hydralisk, but now they're destroyed right now because all the overlords are at the front with that attack so free has really buckled down here on everything oh he's uh, trying to pick off another overlord the best he can but there's still dark templar running between each base just keeping the mining from happening excellent job by free there a nice counter attack to what uh calm was doing and now calm uh, he has defended against a uh, couple of the Dark Templars. There's a storm now, so the High Templar are coming in. Do have storm ready to uh, drill down the front. 
So I don't think Calm is going to be able to break that natural expansion anytime soon. And you just lost uh, quite a few drones, and at least a lot of mining time down there as well. So eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth so far. And I say free a little bit in a better position because he hasn't had a whole lot of economic harassment to him. He fought with uh, probes earlier, but lost some probes there, but still doing well m mining comfortably. There's High Templar going out looking for a patch of uh, Hydralist to storm. So free primarily going for just high Hydralis, I'm not Hydralis, High Templar and Zealots. So he's going to have a He's going to be rocking it against these Hydralists soon enough. As long as Calm can keep this economic harassment from happening, get all of his troops together, because right now he's just running back and forth between bases, can't get those troops out in the field where he needs them, because Free's going to be able to push out soon enough with a massive army. It looks like he's doing that right now. Not a completely massive army, but I think he's just waiting on a few more reinforcements here. Storm from Free. Storm. Nice storm from him over the entire Hydralist troop. Forced to back off a little bit, though. And let's see if uh, Calm can snipe those High Templar. It doesn't manage to snipe any of them right there because there are a lot of uh, cannons still lining the front for free. Nothing inside the main. Where did those drones go? I guess they all ran to the natural expansion, but there's no mining inside the main at all. And the natural is f completely saturated, so I don't think there's any drones to put inside the main right now. So Free has done a good job killing those. Oh, it's a nice storm from him defending the front. Calm. Calm, GG, lost so much mining, and his forward push didn't get much done, so Free played a nice defensive game there. It was uh, Things were not looking good there for a second, but now Free is shaking his head, nodding his head like, yeah, I'm going to get this done. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm free. I'm pretty. I'm pretty.